Hey friends, in my last noodle video, I promised to use these three noodles. The funny yak guy, the crown dump dude, and then wicked ramen. I, I promised to use these, but you can see they're all kind of the same company and I don't want to use the same thing all over again. Then in my living room I found this and I found a bowl of kimchi ramen. And it's, it has a tip. Eat real kimchi while you're eating this. I think we can do that. Then I found another Korean one that says a seafood flavor. And that looks good. Then I found two from Taiwan. A company called Jin Bo Jia that has Soul Spicy Noodle Soup. And then this one says Soul Spicy Noodles. This one has a warning on it for. How much of the pouch do you want to put in before you can't stand it? I think we got some good options here. I'm going for this one for now. Okay, let's see what we got. This thing feels pretty solid. And that smells interesting. And then this has instructions on how to open it. Mm, good for you. This feels like a sauce of some kind. And let's put that in. It smells like hot dogs. Okay, all mixed up. Let's give this a try. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. didn't quite cook the noodles long enough. They're still a little bit chewy, but wow, this is really good. <sighs> there it is, friends. Boute Jige. This gets an absolutely full win. This is really, really good. On to the next one. The next one here seems to be part of a series. Yokui Ramen. Wicked Ramen, dude. Okay, there's also this one. This is Wicked Ramen, but it has the same name at the bottom. And then there's this one with this weirdo on it. It has the same name. So, get into those later. Let's try this one for today. Now the, I don't know what to call this. The Longhorn Yak or 
ram dude or whatever with the flowery things and badminton birdies. I have no idea what this is supposed to mean. The instructions are very simple and clear, I think. I think. So let's give this one a try. Let's see what we got. Okay, I got the noodles in the bag, of course. And then there was only one packet in here. And it seems to have seafood in it. And the seafood seems to be saying something. And I don't know what that is. We'll find out. Wow. The entire house smells like seafood. And I see some red pepper flakes in here. Looks like it could be spicy. When I took a whiff of that packet after I opened it, Strong seafood smell and kind of a spicy thing, too. Let's see what we get. Let me eat some more before I judge this. I finished it. And it started out giving me the feeling like, is this cardboard seafood? It didn't seem to have a lot of flavor, but when I got to the bottom, and finished the soup and the end of the noodles then it seemed pretty spicy so this was not bad it was a little bit weird and I really wish I knew what message they were trying to to give across with this package okay next on the list will be this Soul Spicy Noodles from Taiwan. Picture of a red pepper on it. And a warning. For the sauce packet, use one third for small spicy. Half for medium spicy. And use the whole thing for big spicy. You know I'm going to put the whole thing in, right? All right. That's coming up next. Here it is, friends. This is the last of three noodles. Three noodles per video, I think is pretty good. Let's finish this video today. This is from Taiwan. It's very spicy, I guess. It says soul spicy noodles on it. The instructions are all in Chinese. Oh, there's English too. All right, fine. I know how to make this. I'll do it. Let's keep this short. See you in a bit. All right. Taiwanese soul spicy noodles. Definitely a different smell than other Asian noodles that I've eaten so far. And it's very familiar to me because it's Taiwanese. So, see if I can try to identify what's in here. I thought I had almost overcooked the noodles, but they still seem a little bit not really tough, but try another bite. Okay, I finished the noodles and that was way spicier than I expected. That's pretty burn your head off spicy. Good job, Taiwan. It still had kind of a Taiwanese smell to it, which I still can't identify. Is it Wuxiang Fen? That kind of five spice powder, or you know, something. There's something definitely Taiwanese about it. Not at all bad. I'm not complaining. That was good, and that was really, really spicy. 
Okay, review a little bit here. We started out this video with this one, and that was very, very good. Then this weird dude one that didn't seem to turn out all that well at the beginning, but turned out pretty nice. And then this one that completely surprised me by being as hot as they said. They said, no, oh, you know, warning, put, you know, put all the packets in. There were three packets, so which one is the hot one? I don't know. Okay, next video. Bulldog Bokum. I've had this before, and this is burn your head off spicy. And it's not about the noodles themselves, but the way you deal with the package is very interesting. Next will be Makutsu. I've had this before as well. And I'll serve this in a big bowl, and this is really, really good. This is not very spicy. Might finish it off with the Taiwanese Kushianian. Science noodles. It's not just that children eat these. It's not about the flavor of the noodles themselves. It's about how you eat them. And that'll be interesting. So, see you in the next video. Take care, friends. Be safe out there.